Hey everyone, it's Tyler here with LureWorks. Today we're going to be showing you how to make your own soft plastic lures, starting from safety to equipment you need and the step-by-step -step process on what you need to get started. Today we'll be using the LureWorks medium soft plastic, as well as the LureWorks 5-inch stick bait mold. We've got our colorant and glitter of choice for today, as well as an injector, safety glasses, a microwave safe cup, clamps for your mold, a mixer, and safety gloves. So before we get started, I always like to try to mix my plastic. What this does is it gets the elements off the bottom of the mix. So today we're going to be pouring about a cup of plastic. This should be plenty for most molds that you'll be using. Now that your plastic's poured, we're going to throw it in the microwave. I usually like to start it off for about a minute and then up to 30 second intervals until it gets the consistency that you want. Now during the cooking process, I like to use the plastic and mix it up a little bit while it's still not cooked all the way. What this does is it gets your plastic a nice even cook. After about two and a half minutes in the microwave, the plastic's done. We're in a well ventilated area. As you can see, if you don't have a system like this, an outside garage would work or even a porch. I like the plastic to be a nice thin consistency, almost like a syrup, maybe a little bit more liquid than your normal syrup. So now we're going to add our color. Next, you're just going to throw a little bit of glitter in. Now we're just going to mix all this together. So before we throw it in there, add a little bit more color if you think so needed. Throw it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. While your plastic's in the microwave, we're going to put our mold together. The clamps are used to hold the mold tight. Now it's time to inject. Put your injector at the bottom of your cup. Pull up nice and slow. And insert the tip of the injector into the top of the mold. Press down lightly until the mold is completely filled and you'll feel pressure at the end. Hold the pressure for about two or three seconds. Lift up, top off the mold, and shoot the warm plastic back into your cup. Now it'll take your bait about two or three minutes to fully harden. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean out our injector. All this plastic that's still left in here, you can reuse, melt again, and use for another bait. So about two or three minutes, your bait should be done. Take it out the mold. Open it up. And this will be your finished product. Now I've got five stick baits that you can use and go catch some fish. Before we use them, we're going to hang them up and let them dry. What this does is just lets them cure a little bit, a little bit better. Let's cure for about a day and you should be good to go. So there you have it. Your own baits from start to finish. 